Lord, yes, he's just uh, a guy on a mission to bring that soul, that funk, and that, and that spiritual vibe to the world. That's who he is. He's a man, he's a, a philanthropist who enjoys getting out in the community and making a difference. He's someone who's been blessed, who's had a lot, and realized that true treasures is not in things. My first experience, I was 13 years old in church, and this guy came that was dating my cousin, who married my cousin. He was came to the church with a, this beautiful, shiny thing, and he began to perform it. And the dynamics and the energy and, and just the beauty of the interchange between what he was doing and the audience, I wanted in on that energy. I had to have it. So that was the catalyst for me uh, wanting to pursue music. As far as my musical education, I went to Rufford High School and they had a little program that was probably not the best, but from that I met Donald Sinta who heard me playing and just like this young man has a lot of talent, wow. He invited me to interlocking. So I went there and that was a very uh, educational experience for me to see what other kids, all nationalities, what they were doing. I'm like, man, I gotta step it up. And then, so uh, I really enjoyed the instruction I got from Donald Center, and then I decided to go to the University of Michigan and study with him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What made me want to pursue a career in music was just the, the, the love, the instant love. The, the, uh, you meet wonderful people, and, and I think musicians have a different experience than, than most, maybe sports figures and, and other entertainers can relate to what we get, but if you always have someone telling you you're great, it's kind of hard to walk away from that. So as a kid, all oh, these applauds and people standing up, I, I liked all of that. I wanted more of that, so it kind of just happened. I never thought that I would be here 20-some uh, years later and been traveled the world still playing music. It's just been uh, surreal for me. As far as musical inspiration, I would say that uh, one artist in particular just grabbed me at an early age. He kind of stole me from the church. <laughs> I grew up listening to all gospel music and there was a gospel player named Bernard Johnson. And he was good, but I heard this guy, this guy by the name of Grover Washington Jr. and he was a rapper. Mm -hmm. And so uh, that birthed my interest in, in the jazz idiom. And the saxophone, of course, that is my, that's my gift to the world. But I also play flute, I play clarinet, and I've been studying the violin. So, about another six months, I may do something publicly with that. My life has been enhanced so much by doing what I love, and I think that's a blessing. Many people, um, they start out, but they don't finish, or they don't have the support. And just having the support and, and just being able to do it. I think that over the years I've become more in tune with my instrument. It's not something that that's external for me, it's a part of me. So now, before I may have played notes, now it's a part of my soul that I give to my audience. Mm -hmm. When I play music, I just play music. I play whatever comes from that creative part of me. You can call it jazz, you can call it R&B, call it what you want, but you're gonna get I call it soul. I don't necessarily label it because I, I have a history of, of uh, bringing in my classical experience, bringing in my church experience, uh, just bringing in all my experiences. So you can label it whatever you want. Children that are pursuing their dreams in music, when I see them, I just tell them, hey, follow your heart. Just go for it with all that you have. Uh, right now, in your youth, that's the prime time. This is the brick and mortar of your life. If you build a solid foundation now, you will be able to just do the Tiger Woods thing and the Serena mm -hmm. <laughs> Williams thing. You'll be able to just enjoy life later on if you build a solid foundation now. Mm -hmm. Little Scholars Arts Program is a program that's very dear to my heart. Um, at Little Scholars, we pretty much target the inner city youth and we help them their schoolwork 
We have them, um, we introduce them to the arts, whether it be dance, music, uh, poetry. We just try to expose them as much as we can to the arts. That's just, it made a difference in my life, so I'm very adamant about taking that to the children. Mm -hmm. Anyone interested in knowing more about my music can go to yancy.com, Y-A-N-C-Y-Y.com. I'm on CD Baby, iTunes, Rhapsody, Amazon, and pretty much anywhere that you can download CDs.